Hi, did you miss me? No? <laughs> Are you well? Well, surely that's all that matters. You know, when I want to get into a good mood, or even when I want to continue with the mood that I'm having, all I need is a perfect fragrance. And my vanilla candle does just that perfectly fine. Well, welcome to the show. This is a show, a good show. My name is Claire Chatari and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so you know the other day I saw this beautiful lady drinking her water by the bottle. I know, once or twice I've told you before, please ladies, do not spoil your outfit, do not um, spoil your manners with just a slight mistake. I believe that this is a water container. It is not a water bottle. You know, like the water bottles that we have? Of course, surely you can't help it, especially if it is a good bottle, or maybe if you're in a place whereby you can hardly get a glass. But whenever you can, if you can, try as much as possible to drink your, uh, to drink your water by the glass and not by the bottle. And also, when you are opening your bottle of water, I know children do it, but some adults as well. Do not hold the bottle up here because then on you will press the pressure and then you'll open and the water might spill on you. So instead, hold the bottle down here and then simply open your water and then pour it into your glass. Ah, let's have some water, shall we? A lot of people say they can tell the difference between good water and water in general. Can you? Anyway, you could still share with me in the comment section. But today I want us to talk about how to look expensive on a budget. Whenever anyone talks about on a budget, everybody gets excited because I mean, we all love budgets. We all have things that we want to do with our money. We all have things that we want to do with our lives. We, lo we all have things that we just have to budget and we have to even wait for that time whereby this is the right time for me that was my budget let me go for it and of course this being looks this being ways this being education this being you know your personal self elevating yourself to another level still you need to do it on a budget even when you have a lot of money you still need to find out which one is good, how good is it, how can you do your comparison. And today I have a few of those uh, uh, suggestions that I want to share with you, how to look expensive on a budget. Now we all know it for sure that I am not a certified um, uh, image consultant. No, I'm not, at least not yet. But uh, I believe living in Dubai, I still want to believe, I don't know, nobody's going to convince me unless the people that are staying and are living in the south of France, which is Monaco and the likes, I do not think that there's anywhere you can find as much flamboyancy or as much luxury like in the country that I live in, Dubai. Hmm. Dubai. I'll tell you a quick story. So there was one time, I think I had just spent about uh, three months because you can actually get a three months visa to Dubai. So I had a three months visa. So obviously when it expired, I went back to Uganda and I, I happened to live in Lavoa. So I was coming from quality, if you know quality supermarket. So I'm trekking, I'm trekking, I'm trekking and I'm going back home. So I meet this man with a Range Rover. So he comes to me and he stops and he says, Banange nyabo, umkazo mlonji ngagwe, ota ambuza chigere. I told him, Sebo Jebali. He said, I told him, He said, I told him, Yes. He told me, I told him, 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 and I was not expressing myself to this man because I didn't want his ride. I was not expressing myself because like Dubai has given me a chance at least. I don't have it all, but I have seen it. I have seen it even when I feel like I want to see what the most expensive uh, glass looks like. 
I will Google, I will go to the place and I will see. If I say I want to experience the most expensive hotel, I will save, I will go to that hotel and experience it. If I say I want to look at the most expensive diamonds, I am in the heart of the city. All I just have to do is go to these places, right? So this has given me a lot of experience and what I want to share with you according to what I see from these Arabs and from everybody else that comes from all different parts of the world to Dubai. When you want to look um, expensive on a budget, I know what these people look like. So I believe that I can, I can, I can tell that this is going to be close to that. Over here with me, I have a few brands. Yeah, these brands. Let's talk more about them later on. For now, I would want us to share. I want you to take a deep breath and just think about your closet. Take a deep breath and think about your, the outfit you wore yesterday. How did you look? Were your shoes comfortable? Were your clothes comfortable? How did you smell? How was your makeup? The way you wore it in the morning and in the evening, is that the same look that you have? Now, all this comes down to looking expensive. Have you noticed that something expensive, in most cases, forget about anybody that is just hiking prices over like just a hike, but very expensive items actually have good, good quality, they have good fabric, they are well done. Most things, expensive items are good, however, like I said in the beginning, there are those other items that you can be able to get on a budget that are close to those other items. So for starters, less is more. Yeah, everybody has talked about it. Less is more. You know, the clothes I, I have been or like I'm, I'm transitioning out of, I would dress up in such a shirt and then I would probably have like a few bangles with me and I would have a brooch and then I would have like some earrings. Still, I would look good, but that is not an expensive look. You know what I mean? Like today, I'm just wearing this uh, necklace and then I have just a, a, a studded earrings and I'm wearing a watch. But I believe I look elegant and I still feel confident and as beautiful as always. <laughs> okay, so you have to make sure that you remember it in mind. Less is more. Fine, fine, fine. Less is more. But are you going to find less and more in every other store that you go? Are you going to find less is more in every other style? When we talk about looking at less is more, I don't, talk about, I don't mean only the kind of items that you're putting onto yourself. I'm also talking about the clothing. Yeah? Some clothes have, yeah, some clothes have a, a full collection of everything. Let's imagine that you have the bag, you have the, the, the shoes, you have the, the top, you have the jacket, you have the hairband, you have the bow tie, you have the wristband. Of that same print, no matter the brand, even if it's Gucci, I swear to you, you won't look expensive. Somebody will look at you and tell that's Gucci, but you won't give that expensive look. So, less is more. Wear fitting clothes. I know that there are a few styles that are baggy. I know that are a few styles that are big, but look here. Some of those, uh, uh, some of those uh, styles or even non-fitting clothes, it's more of the high street fashion. Now, high street fashion is, is, is more of, of, of the teenage kind of life, is more of uh, even still the older people, I believe. In, in my own opinion, I like to believe that they are still, they, they missed a phase. Honestly, like, why are you wearing all these baggy jeans and baggy clothes if you want to be expensive or look elegant and classy? Of course, who are you going to leave that to? The people still trying to figure out themselves. But if you want to look expensive, trust me, you already know the meaning of face value. <laughs> You're not a teenager. And if you are, kudos to you. You're watching this at the right time. Okay. Now, the next point is investing in your grooming. So, everywhere in the world, there are babas. But there is a good baba and a moderate baba. There is a good baba and a low budget baba that will still do for you what you want, but it will never, it will not be as good. Because a lot of times, right now, 
you find people taking a lot of time learning and mastering their skill. How? By doing master classes, by even doing online courses, by even going out to, to watch tutorials. Like in my previous video, I was showing different ways how you can wear a pyjama suit. I did not say a tutorial on how, because that means I'm showing you, tie it at the back, tie it at the front, tuck it in like this. No. But for somebody who is keen to be able to see, oh, that was done like that, I'm showing you. And if you haven't yet watched that video, you should actually watch it because that is a, that's a video that you cannot miss. It is how to, how to wear your pyjamas. It could be a pyjama suit, it could be pyjama shorts, it could be pyjama, a pyjama dress, um, a, 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 pyjama, a pyjama with a dress top. But how to wear your pyjamas? That is a good video that you need to check out. So when we talk about investing in your grooming, you need to make sure that grooming is not just about your looks. Grooming is also about your appearance. What does this mean? You're going to have to invest in your, in, your, in, your, in your dental care. You're going to have to invest probably in your eyebrows if you don't have. That every other time you're drawing your eyebrows, instead of looking like the Nike sign, it's probably getting to the sign of, what sign? cork <laughs> give me your suggestions in the comment section but you know what i mean right you can you, you you totally relate so it is very important for us to invest in the grooming and when we talk about investing in your grooming some of the things that you need are wide anything that is coming onto your body ladies and gentlemen please make sure that you do not compromise number one make research good research Find out what type of skin do you have, what kind of products are going to work for you. And when you do, make sure that you buy the genuine products. Buy the genuine products. Why? Because they're going to be more effective on your skin. Don't look for an alternative or even an option because it's not going to fit your skin. And that is why we are saying invest in your grooming. That is very, very important. Okay, so wear clothes that are comfortable you know the minutes that you wear clothes that are not comfortable you are obviously going to look off cheap why because every other time you you, you you have to pull down your top or you have to pull down your skirt or you have to make sure that you keep tucking in your top because it's coming out and it's probably showing your your butt cheek or maybe because it, it's showing your cleavage and that's not the the idea that you want at that opportune time so you have to keep on you know that does not come off classy it doesn't come off expensive so make sure that you you wear clothes that are comfortable keep it in mind they should be fitting and you are comfortable now you should have a body skill and when i talk about a body skill i don't mean maybe talking or should i say you should have an art at your body skill what do i mean by having an art to your body or a perfecting a skill. Here, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you should be able to know how to paint your nails so that anytime they chip, your nails are always well done. You will never ever look cheap. You should make sure that at least you know how to cut your eyebrows or cut out the roots or even thread or even twist. Or better yet, you know how to draw a perfect eyebrow, conceal it neatly, having a neat look Having a skill at yourself will never allow you to look uh, cheap. For instance, we all have this one friend who we know. She's probably not going to do her makeup, she's not going to do her hair, but her nails are always on point. We still have that friend who is not going to do her nails, who's probably not going to do her hair, but her makeup is always on point. We still have that friend whose nails and hair is always on point. So make sure that at least you have an art at your body you have an art that you can perfect so well that is not going to cost you and at the end of the day it's going to come off expensive because you have done it you know what makes you feel more confident most classy remember that being expensive being classy having etiquette is all about attitude the way you feel is exactly what you'll give off okay next off you need to make sure that you're buying good clothing. Okay, when I talk about good, co good clothing, a lot of people will think, oh, maybe the most trending item, or oh, maybe the most trending uh, um, colors. 
No, 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 this is not what I mean. I mean that every time you go to purchase your items, the same way you'll have a lip tester and you try it on, see how it looks like on your lips. The same way you'll have a perfume, spray it all over yourself and say, hmm, oh, this smells so good. Do the same thing with your clothing. Touch every single piece in the store. You know, I have actually, I have actually um, been able to, to, to advance my skill with the type of things that I'm telling you because as you know, I'm a personal shopper with Get Quick from Dubai. We buy everything and anything from Dubai. Just name it. Just name it. By the way, you guys, try me. Try me out. Tell me whatever you're looking for and I'll give you that exact item. Or even still, I will fit in your budget. And like we said in my previous video, know your budget. If you fit in your budget and you can relate to something, I mean, don't ask me for Louis Vuitton when actually the price of the thing that you want is from Zara, you know? It is very important, very, very important for you to touch every single thing that you're going to buy. Touch it, feel the material, because we all know our bodies. Some clothes cannot hold sweat. Some clothes cannot even hold perfume, Jesus Christ. Some clothes are going to hold up the sweat and keep it there forever like this cloth was, was just one of those drainers at the sink, Christ. You need to touch every single cloth because you know your body and you know what expensive material looks like. And if you don't, totally another video for another day. Okay. Now, if you are interested in an item Let's imagine probably you've gone to the store and you are a size, uh, you are a size 10, 8 to 10 like myself. Sometimes I even wear some clothes that are 6. But they only have a size 12 and you really want this outfit. Fine, go ahead. Buy the outfit but for Christ's sake, don't wear it like that. Take it to a tailor and let them fit it to your body. You know when a cloth is more fitting, it's more appealing. It looks very classy. It looks like it was tailored to fit, tailored to suit you. Like this was my cloth. I, you know, this, it was just made for me. So make sure that you tailor or alternate your clothes that are less fitting. And still, this may not be about you going to a store and shopping. No, this may also be about um, you've probably lost weight. You've probably gained weight. You have maybe bought an item and you thought, okay, maybe it's, it's big on me or it's small on me. If it's not fitting you, please forget about ill-fitting clothes if you want to look expensive on a budget. Now, uh, you have to choose your colors wisely. Earlier, uh, later on, I want to show you something. You know, um, we all enjoy trends. We all enjoy uh, style. We all enjoy fashion. But the truth is, some clothes and colors are not fashionable. Some clothes and colors are not in style. Some clothes and colors do not suit you. Mm, yeah, it's the bitter truth. Some clothes and colors, some styles do not suit you. They don't suit you. Just because everybody's wearing palazzo pants, it doesn't mean palazzo pants fit you. Just because everybody else is wearing a suit, it doesn't mean that you look good in a suit. Please, people, it is very important for us to know your colors. It is very important for us to know your style. It is very important for you to know what relates with you, what relates with your body. So go ahead and choose colors wisely. Now, if you want to look expensive, you will realize that the neon colors, they just don't give it off. Like imagine a neon green shoe with a neon green dress with neon green hair. How expensive is that? It just sounds and looks like you're going for a music video that you're probably just going to shoot because it is the trend and you're done. But it's, it doesn't sound or even seem or even vision to me like an outfit that you're going to take tomorrow to a date or even to the office. Like, why are you doing that to yourself? Expensive is not a one-off. So you see a gentleman, he's probably wearing some um, Timberlands or he's wearing some Jordan or even just a lady is wearing some type of Adidas or Nike. But then they wear it probably on Monday and then they're going to do it again on Wednesday and or even maybe throughout the whole week. So somebody's going to make a statement like, mm, you know, Claith really likes those Jordans. She's always wearing them. She wore them last year. She's wearing them this year. Friend, Jordans ain't cheap. No. And neither any of the items from any of these stores. That means that they are not a one-off. 
They are not items that you buy just today and you get rid of. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. And by the way, this should stop. This should stop like she was wearing that cloth on Instagram and now she was wearing it on Snapchat or she posted it the other day on Facebook. It's fine. Really. It is. I mean, why, why are you carrying around the same pair of teeth since you were born? Mm. Why? Because it's quality. This is something good that God has given us. You know? So, like, you need to know pieces that are good. Pieces that are going to last you a lifetime. You need to know where are you going to invest your money. Now, I was talking about colors. Colors that will help you or will enhance your look or will that colors that will definitely make you look expensive. We are talking about colors like red. Imagine a full red suit. Oh, that is beautiful. Whether in a skirt. No, 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 no. I know you're thinking it's because that's my favorite color. No. If red was not going into that section or even category, trust me, I would not mention it. But red, a full red on. Uh, this is what we call um, the monochrome matching, the monochrome colors all throughout. This is going to give you an amazing look. Or even just the mint colors like these curtains at the back. The greys, the beige, these colors are rich colors. There is also this, um, the, the, the ash grey. Ash grey is also a very rich color. Even pink, but it depends on what kind of pink. We are not talking about the neon pink. That one will never look expensive. Like, never. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. So please, know your colors. Okay, let's move ahead. You need to be creative with your pieces and your buys. Okay, so have you seen a disaster whereby somebody is wearing all these labeled items at a go? Somebody is wearing like Louis Vuitton shoes and they're holding a Louis Vuitton bag and they're wearing a Louis Vuitton jacket. Then they put on like Michael Kors pants and they're printed all over. Then they're putting on something from Harvey Nichols. It could be, um, it could be um, Massimo Duty or it could be uh, um, what kind of... Uh, um, <laughs> you know, any of those brands from uh, Harvey Nichols. But they are so branded that you're putting on everything at once. What is going to happen? It's definitely going to clutter. It's going to clutter. So please make sure that if you're wearing something that is so printed, if you're wearing something that is so branded all over, turn it down. Turn it down with something. And I actually have a very good example for you. I have examples of pieces that I'm going to show you later on. These pieces, you can actually tell that one is more expensive than the other. Though, according to the way that I wear them, you might not be able to tell because I know that, okay, this pattern is busy in this kind of, of, of way, so I need this type of color to tone it down. Because, you know, it is true, and I have experienced this when it comes to clothing. I have seen it in different stores. Most of the whaley printed clothing is not really expensive. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's very affordable. And it's packed in those low budget, low budget stores. Like you get into that store, I don't want to mention those stores, and you instantly have a headache. Because there is Mickey Mouse, if there is not Mickey Mouse, suddenly you're seeing Bunny, if there is no Bunny, you're seeing Ankara Prince, if you're not seeing Ankara Prince, you're seeing Dashiki, if you're not seeing Dashiki, you're seeing uh, Polka Dots, you're seeing Animal Prince. They are everywhere. But take a look at those high-end brands. When you walk into the store, even when you're coming through, you will see a jacket from there. You will see a shoe from there. You don't have to look around. You don't have to because these pieces are simple. They are bold. They, they are rich. Rich in the fabric, rich in the tailoring, rich in the buttons, rich in every kind of way. But it also depends on where you're taking these outfits, right? So you need to know where you are going to spend your money and to what event are you going to that needs for you to look very expensive. For instance, you might be going maybe to just pick up your child from school. I mean, you're probably going to stay in the car, right? The moment they see you in the car or the moment, you know, you say I'm out and they let out your child. I don't know how that system works as yet, but you may know 
that I don't need to wear or I don't need to take my expensive clothes or my expensive shoes to this place. But when it comes to buying quality, make sure that you go for, for, for these earthly colors, the colors that I talked about. Stay safe with the blacks, with the beige, with the mint green. Stay safe with, 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 with the soft colors. And when you do that, go through all the way monochrome. Okay? Now, the last point before I can show you what you can do with, with, with these prints and how you can be able to tell that this is good fabric, this is not good fabric, this is a good clothing, this is not a good clothing, this is rich, this ain't rich. This is, uh, this is, um, this is something that I can be able to pair and this is something that I cannot be able to pair is invest in the right items. Please, please invest in the right items. It is 2020. You can decide to sit down and say, okay. So it's for sure for a fact, I know I'm female. I, I wear high heels, okay? But what kind of heels do I wear most of the time? They are broad. It actually beats my understanding, you know. Like I told you earlier on, I am a personal shopper. But it's also very important and it helps me. You and I save us both time and of course money when you know exactly what you're looking for like somebody will text you and say hey clay hey i'm looking for shoes oh okay so what shoes are you looking for i'm looking for heels okay so what heels are you looking for i'm looking for open heels okay what open heels are you looking for people please you need to know where you're investing your money you need to be specific even with your shopping you need to be specific even with yourself you need to know what you want like my mother always says she gets turned off and she will definitely know the kind of person that who the kind of person you are when she asks you uh, can i offer you some soda oh yes please what soda would you like to have then you say any huh? who are you who's just taking any soda why are you just taking any soda oh would you like to have a glass of wine yes what kind of wine do you want uh just give me any wine you, 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 it, it comes off like you're not educated about this you're not affluent you're not elite you're not as hard as you're trying to look expensive on a budget, you're not even sounding expensive. You need to be specific. Say, oh, yes, I would like to have a glass of wine. Can I have some champagne? Wine, I would like to go for a burgundy. I would like to go for, you know, know what, know exactly, know where you're putting your money, know whatever you're investing in. No, 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 no. Knowing is very, very, very important. So know that you're going for a black shoe, know that you're going for heels. What kind of heels? Okay, I really am a working class woman. What kind of bag do I need? How, what kind of bag is long lasting? So that you can know that instead of going to a low budget store for your bag and you don't want to do it again, and still this low budget store is low budget store. My friend, you will never look Gucci if you're, if you're 24 seven in forever 21, no. But, if you at least save your money, it doesn't have to be Gucci, people. I mean in a range of a good quality bag. Know exactly that that you need and make sure that you spend your money on it. Spend your money in it. Spend your money within it. You know what I mean? So please, it's very, very important. So I'm going to show you how, uh, how I, I, I have, I think I should say, a more expensive item than this other cheap, very, very, very cheap item. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, but you've come this far, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that already enough to show you that? Just click that button. Click that button, go into the comment section, already share. If there's something that I've mentioned and you can actually relate, share with your friends and your family. And of course, don't forget to hit me up. Let me know what you think. You can do it on my Instagram, you can do it on my Facebook, you can do it on my Snapchat. <laughs> I'm not so good at Snapchat. I even forget that I have that app because when I go there, I, I, I mostly go to Snapchat to find out did so and so eat because every day they post food. So today they didn't post food, have they eaten? Or maybe I want to find out um, what is the latest filter. So I'll go to Snapchat and check, oh, 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 oh. So really, Snapchat, you might not find me there as much, but surely, surely, for Facebook, Clayth Chathire, and for Instagram, at Clayth Love. So I'm going to show you how you can match those items. See you soon. So I really hope that you are enjoying this because not only am I in your face, uh -huh, but you're also learning something, right? 
Now, I want to teach you the difference between high quality fabric and cheap, poor, bad quality fabric. However, both of these may seem or come off the same or even may come off, uh, one may come off more expensive than the other according to how I pair them. So I'm touching this fabric and I just can't believe. I don't even know how I bought this, but I really did because of its colors. Very, very vibrant. And at the back of my mind, I knew exactly how to pair this outfit. So if you haven't actually watched my video on how to pair uh, or how to match your pajamas, you should because this is a very good example on how to do it in that video. So now, both of these uh, outfits are polyester. Uh, polyester is a mud made uh, fabric that can withstand a thousand washes, wears and tears. It, it, it can really hold it. It can hold it. So this one is a hundred percent polyester and this one, I, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even have how much, how much content of the polyester it has, but just by the feel of it, I know that it's, it, it has polyester. So number one, the difference is the feel. I don't know if, obviously, I don't know if you can be able to see the feel that I'm having, but if you could, you could really tell. But you can go in your wardrobe and try to rub your polyester cloth or rub your silk cloth with one another. You will feel that rich, classy, and expensive feeling. Unlike this that is not 100% polyester, as I'm trying to rub, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough on one of the, one of the other. In fact, if I try to bring it close, you can listen to the sound. And if I try to bring this 100% polyester close, you can listen to the sound. So that is number one. Number two, both of these clothes, all these clothes, I hand steamed them. It is very important for you to steam your clothes because if you don't have any wrinkle, you are definitely going to come off expensive. You're going to come off rich, collected, and well put together. But if you can be able to tell, this has a few wrinkles. I use the same pressure, the same amount of, of water into the, 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 the steam iron, but if you can tell, it still has a few wrinkles. But this other polyester does not have any wrinkle at all or whatsoever nothing that is also something very important to tell now yet again i am going to show you the difference in the tailoring or should i call it the knitting or the thread within these two different types of clothing if you can see keenly already here this is not a clean classy look this is not a well put together look in fact i don't know how I, I, how i left this here but it's pretty much of a very good example nevertheless you cannot be able to see any of these here coming back here nevertheless it doesn't it, it doesn't hide the fact that it is it is very cheap this is a very cheap uh, pyjama suit but very good example and also I love the way it comes off because th th this is a pair that is easy for me to pair I normally wear this with the rich colors like the, the like um, the burnt orange burnt orange and burnt orange or even just burnt orange I have a picture on my Instagram with that and then I also wear it with with this kind of brown this kind of burnt orange or even the cream I know how to match around with my colors and you will not know if it's expensive or if it's cheap but trust me I will look expensive so when we go inside look at all this thread work this is very 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 poor work i don't know some of the of the good tailors out there like uh like uh, shiba kasami or um maybe fatuma asha and the likes in uganda and for you know several others in different parts of, of the world i mean those are the ones that i can relate with at the moment but if you can see you can see that this is poor work look at this this i'm not very sure if it feels comfortable whenever i wear it but definitely, you can tell that this may not be comfortable. Even if this was a tight cloth, if it's on your arm or even at your butt, you would still feel this hard area. 
but let's take a look at the inside of this you know they all have the same area whereby the joining whereby the joining of the shirts are but you can tell the difference in the finishing are you able to see that you can definitely tell that this is poor work and this is good work also we talked about try to avoid wearing so many busy patterns at a go why it's never going to come off expensive it will look probably collected or far-fetched from here and there but you'll not look as expensive now this is still a pattern but less of a pattern and considering the fact that it's a hundred percent polyester when i match them together or even wear them together they may not cause as much commotion rather it comes off as a cute jumpsuit don't you think and still when i wear them separately it comes off richer it's not even because one is more expensive than the other no but i want you to be able to see it like look at that it's a good look but it's quite confusing is it summer it's even already giving me a headache just looking at it together like this so this is why i rarely rarely actually i've never done it before wear this pajama suit together and head out no 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 i rarely do that i've not done that before and i don't think i will be doing that before lastly i would want to show you about the collar whenever you're buying an item please take note of the collar this can really tell you whether this is a cheap item these people probably didn't have enough material or they just patched it together and said huh this is good to go because you can see this is 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 not uh, well done and then still they didn't have more of this green so they had to patch half of the green and another green onto this like you see that and then still you can tell you can look at this and tell that hmm this is quite a cheap piece now let's look at the example of the 100 percent polyester look at that look at that collar look at the collar remember the hem just look at that shirt do you see the detail at the back I love clothes that have a bit of detail. Actually, this detail is very pretty. I think I should one time wear it at the front and then put this at the back. You know me, I'm so capable of that. And surely when I do that, I will definitely share with you pictures or even uh, post it on my Instagram so that you can be able to see. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Now you know how to look expensive on a budget. Still, if you have your suggestions, if you have your tips, if you have a way that you do it, let me know in the comment section, but this will surely work out for you. My name is Clay Chatire. Please don't forget to either subscribe, share with whoever you're sharing with, but whatever you do, stay safe. Until then, bye.